can't think of a better way to differentiate how much better a professional is than an amateur than to have me throw on the US Open patterns. Number one and number two. Let's get into it. What is up you guys, welcome to 10 Pin Life. My name is Ben and today we are going to do the amateur on the pro stuff. I was able to uh, get the folks over here at Weston Lanes to put out the US Open patterns from this week. Uh, number one and number two, so the 45 foot long one, the middle finger as they're calling it, and the 37 foot dead flat one to one. If you like content like this, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video and share it with your friends so that they can truly see how hard these patterns are because I tell you what, I am guaranteeing you this is not going to look very good. <laughs> So I'm just gonna get up and throw some shots. I brought nine different bowling balls, trying to stick a little bit within that US Open uh, ball limitation type setting. Uh, one of them is even a spare ball. So really, I'm, I am gonna shoot my spares. I'm gonna play for score, if you will. I've only thrown like three shots to get warmed up, but I will not cut a single shot from this entire thing. We're gonna do the first part on the left lane, which is the 45 foot pattern, it's lane 17, and then oh, jump over to lane 18 and uh, throw on the short. So. Let's see what I can do. So I haven't hit anything with any surface yet, but I'm gonna start with my Helios because it's like my benchmark ball. Well, we'll start for, we'll start up 10 just to kind of see what it does. That was definitely not up 10. Okay, well that kind of looked like crap. We'll try it one more time just to see if I can get it to stick. It sounded like it hooked instantly. <laughs> I really hope the camera got how much that wiggled because it like got a third of the way down the lane and just like squirreled its way all the way to tripping out a two pin. You gotta play the shim, right? You gotta get, the ball's gotta be left at 15. That's just, that ball motion's awful. Really not trying to get it right or a 14, 13, 14. Didn't get that one right at all. Uh, well, there's one of many opens incoming. Holy crap. I actually thought I threw that okay. And I didn't even come close to hitting the head pin. I'm gonna try the reality for one. Cause why not? Close. We're gonna just move a little bit more left. I mean, it's really not doing anything besides just getting to the head pin. Make my spare here, because that's just as weird. Ooh, that got right. Good nine. That is a wrap 10. I mean, crap 10. <laughs> this is fucking hard. Oh, right of that is out of, out of play. Completely out of play. So that one was 25 with the feet. I drift seven left, so the ball's hitting the foul line at 25. And then, I mean, down lane, it's like 13. So to get there, arrows is like 20-ish. My, yeah, so my elbow flew, and what I saw was because of that, it looked like it hooked immediately. You'll never leave a 10 pin if the ball hits it. All right, so Nova's definitely the right ball. Well, this is actually a little more comfortable. I think this is the one. It's definitely not the one. That's two. Okay, reality was too much cover. Nova's pretty solid, matched up. Idle Helios was just not enough ball. One. <laughs> Just don't throw it like a dummy. Because of the fact that it's just a stronger ball front to back, 
It's not letting me get it right as much. It's just saving me. It's, I, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. The US Open format gets a lot of crap for the practice on the off pairs and then the three balls on each lane and then fire it up. I like that rule. It should be a little bit more consistent across the house. You don't have some dude mashing a pair with dust. Now you might still have that, but they're gonna throw a buck 60 and shoot themselves in the ass. That would probably be me. Oh, that's left. Oh. oh, that hooked at the arrows. Tried to go up 20. <laughs> Holy crap. There it is. I'm doing something different with my hand. I don't know exactly what. It's definitely, I just don't want it to shit the bed down lane. <laughs> Circling the hell out of it or something. Oh, that sucked. You know you're in the right ball in the right zone when you throw it that bad and it still strikes. I think I can put up a good game this game. I did not think that one was that bad. I think I dug my fingers in a little bit extra, but that's it. Oh God. That was my first shot where I didn't really think about what I was doing with my feet. And I paid a very significant price. Very low odds that I make this, by the way. Oh, that might be zero. We were on pace to have a good game. Not anymore. So a double gets me into two O's, which if you would have told me before we started this video, I was gonna have a score that started with a two, I would have called you a liar, but I still have to double. <laughs> oh, that might get there. Ah. Oh. Ooh, X2, just hoping it's a little bit cleaner. I think I'm gonna bump right, just back to where I was and just kind of push it in there and see what happens here. Oh God, my feet were awful on that. All right, so one thing that happens for me with shots like this is my feet get really fast and all over the place because I'm so worried about what I'm trying to do on the lane that I forget that I have to throw the ball well too. And that was a good example of that where I just ran at it, footwork is all over the place, just but no good places at all and just threw it like garbage. So. Not a bad game too, but hopefully I can actually shoot a decent score. Third game, let's see. Every shot this game is about having good fundamentals and letting the pins fall as they may. Oh God, that's three. Okay, eight. Don't know if moving right was the right plan, but I'm gonna try it one more time. Just had no juice coming back at all. So we're gonna move in with the, where I tried to be with the Nova. Like four left to where I just was, like four and two. And see what it does. Oh God. <sighs> Terrible. You know, and the funny part about leaving the rail, I have no idea how to make this at all. Ooh. That's a win in my book. X2, definitely not the right ball. So we're gonna try the Zen Master, and I'm really just trying to get it to tumble. Like just hit something early, stay within that oiled section between 15 and 25, and just kind of hope it carries. I'm not really too worried about smashing through pins, just seeing what it can do, so. Definitely had the most pop down lane of any ball that I've had so far, so I'm trying again. We go from clean smash to the nine pin to hits front friction 
and just kind of labors through the middle part of the lane and swishes 10 out. I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not that good. This, that was the whole point of the video. But holy cats, that was a big difference. God bless America. I can still salvage a good one. I just, I think I got the right ball to finish this game off. Just gotta throw some good shots. Roll. Huh. This is definitely the most I've ever seen that ball deflect going through pins. Get a little lucky. Ah! Going in the 10th, I'm just gonna inch a little bit left. Just hope. I love how that's, that's the difference between a pro and an amateur. A pro says I'm gonna execute. I say I'm going to hope. Oh, that hooked so early. Oh, it's got a chance. We'd be way in the hole if we were actually going against the big guys. But let's finish off with one more good one. Well, that was the whole thing. So what do I see out of this pattern? Uh, low volume over this much uh, length of pattern. Really, I mean, I'm bowling by myself. I just bowled three games on one lane. So, you know, uh, double the distribution of shots, but I just got shredded fast. I mean, the mid lane is already hooking a ton. F up front, um, if, it, if you're laying it down left of 25, seems to be hooking a ton. It is worth noting that the lane surface is a little bit different. Um, and also the way the pattern is actually laid down with the machine that is here is different as well. It's not the flex machine that Kegel has. So it's a little less variable, but it's really, really close. I didn't throw it great, but I never really do. That's why I bowl leagues, not big tournaments. So, so I hope that helps illustrate a little bit about how difficult this week's US Open is, at least what day one was like. However, um, we are going to go ahead and bowl on the 37 foot flat pattern as well. So that's gonna be coming up tomorrow. So make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. Like this video, share it with your friends who have been watching qualifying with you. But that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget, your best life is a 10 pin life. See ya. Thank you.